Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's Callie. Um, so I'm getting ready for my first pro show. So I am I am pretty stoked. My first show in IFBB bikini. So let me give you guys a little background on my competition career. Um, if you don't know it already. So basically last um, July, um, I earned my pro card at Team Universe, which at the time was the largest um, national level competition size-wise. I forget how many competitors now, but I think there was like over a thousand. Um, and like over f maybe 600 in bikini. I don't remember. Um, but something like that. One of you fat guys can uh, quote me on that um, and let me know where I was wrong. So, um, so I earned my pro status there. Um, I, about a week before I did that, I actually signed with Universal, becoming their first um, sponsored female athlete, which was pretty awesome um, for several reasons. But um, one reason that was really cool was the fact that they really didn't care <laughs> if I was in the NPC or the IFBB. So it was um, a really nice confidence builder going into that show, like no pressure um, to you know have to come out with a certain expectation because they were actually just after the character of the athlete as opposed to the status. But I won't lie and say that it wasn't a nice perk to obviously earn my pro status there because it was a huge uh, a huge accomplishment. Obviously, something I think um, you know most people who compete in the MPC you know have an idea or a thought of you know becoming an IFBB pro someday so um, I definitely did so that was a huge accomplishment in my career um, and you know to boot it was like an, the icing on the cake signing with Universal um, so after that um, we do the road trips with Universal so I went to Jersey with them for a big long like 10 day road trip which was awesome it was so fun um, I had really been grinding. I think I had done like 12 shows <laughs> um, in like a year and a half or so, maybe a, almost two years. So um, it was nice to go away and just enjoy myself with a bunch of athletes who were all just doing the same thing. And everybody is so uh, fun. And if you don't know me, I happen to I happen to like fun. So it was just awesome. It was like. Um, it was like being on cloud nine, you know, getting signed by Universal, then earning my pro status, then going away on this this bodybuilder extravaganza of a road trip where we just hang out, eat awesome foods, train and tell jokes all day. So, um, and then shortly after that, we came back and then we went to uh, to the Olympia. Um, so we did to Vegas, um, went to the Hoover Dam, went to the Grand Canyon, again, eating our way. Um, along as we went so that was really awesome and super fun again not having to worry about you know keeping a competition diet um, and just you know worry about having fun like they're like listen we're gonna send you out there and here's the goal have fun eat food train what's not to like right so um, th the only downfall I would say to that is that's what prevented me from stepping on the pro stage last year um, because I really didn't have enough time to prep and come in the way I wanted to come into a show. I think if you're going to step on the IFBB stage that you need to make a statement and you need to come in better than you've ever been, obviously, which should be the goal for every show, but especially in this case, um, cause you're starting all over again. You know, it's like you battle it out in the MPC ranks, you know, trying to get into the uh, top tier and then you're back at the bottom of the barrel again with something to prove. Um, so that's exactly where I am, <laughs> which I kind of like, actually. Um, I know I'm weird, but um, I like having something to prove. I think it's um, if you don't feel that way when you're competing, then maybe it's not for you or maybe you're doing it for a different reason. But for me, if I'm kind of, you know, in competition prep for a show and I don't feel like I have something to prove, then I don't belong on that stage. So I'm really stoked because March 28th is going to be my first show this year. Um, and I think I'm like eight and a half weeks out now, something like that. Um, and it is the battle on the beach. Um, and I couldn't feel better, um, than I do right now. So that's kind of a huge plus. A lot of um, times I get into prep and I have so much going on, which I do too now, but 
that I, um, I start to feel really burnt out or like I'm not, I need to be doing more and it's just hard. Um, whereas right now I feel like I, um, I'm a little bit ahead of the game. Um, and I just feel really strong. I'm sleeping really well. My metabolism is awesome. Um, and I have a great team of people that are, um, supporting me. I've, I've been with Bombshell since I've started competing. Um, Shannon Day, uh, is the founder and my coach and they've never, uh, steered me wrong. They've, um, I felt like the more that I've stayed with them, the better everything has gotten for me as an athlete and even just as a human, um, like, uh, you know, recovery, hair, skin, nails, um, uh, because they don't just do competition diets. They do whole body diets. And there's a, there's a valuable piece to what we do as competitors. And I feel like a lot of the times people lose out on the actual nutrition and the vitamins and the minerals because they're just so focused on the look, um, and achieving a certain weight loss goal or whatever it is that you're doing this awesome thing for your body. And then you're forgetting all the good stuff that goes along with it which is kind of weird, but it happens a lot. Um, I always say like on the, on the, the road to, uh, you know, basically wellness, don't forget about your wellness. <laughs> that's, that's the whole reason you do it. Um, so they do a great job of making sure that as females, we're getting what we need for vitamins, for minerals. Um, so it's not just about your muscles. I mean, you're like, seriously, your skin gets glowier, your hair gets shinier. Um, you know, you sleep better, your um, digestion, everything is, is in, on point. So I'm also, so I train with them. Um, they handle all my weights, my cardio, uh, my nutrition, um, weekly progress photos, everything is directly done with them. And um, with Universal, I can't tell you how supportive they are um, for us as athletes. Um, it's pretty incredible and you know there's a lot of a lot of companies out there as you can see look around um, but if you start to do your research and you ask the right questions you start to realize there's only a handful of really good companies out there and I am fortunate to be with Universal who is absolutely the best in my opinion um, and they do such a great job of making sure that we get what we need as athletes and make sure that whatever we need to get it done, that we have it. So um, a big thank you to Universal for, for making our lives so much easier um, and ultimately, you know, increasing, you know, that what they do takes a weight off uh, my shoulders, which allows me to focus more on my prep um, and gives me a better package overall because I don't have to worry about, you know, little things. Um, but they're extremely supportive. I mean, as far as um, supplementation, you know, they make sure they get it to us as soon as we order it, um, which is huge because you get so busy, you run around, you, um, you're like, ah, oh, I gotta go to the grocery store, I gotta go to the gym, I gotta go to work, I gotta go get my hair done, I gotta go take the trash out, I gotta do laundry, whatever it is. Um, you're like, and then you're like, oh shit, I'm out of glutamine or I'm out of Univite or I have no more ultra way. Um, and they get it to you literally like the next day. Um, they are so amazing about that. Um, and it's, it makes a big difference. It definitely does. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, I feel good about um, you know what I'm going to be bringing. I think we have a clear idea of the look that I want to achieve. Um, slightly different than when I got my pro card, um, as the division has kind of changed a little bit, um, especially with the addition of new divisions um, with like women's physique, you know, figure, bikini. It's kind of a trickle down effect. They all have slight changes so that there is a clear cut difference between all the divisions. So I'm stoked. Um, March 28th, it's going down. Um, I have a thread going on the forums um, about my progress, some photos. You guys can ask me questions. I'll answer them, sometimes in Spanish. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's pretty great. And so that's, um, let's see, follow, follow on the forums. And also, I am eating meal um, three right now, and 
I'm gonna be eating a little asparagus, a little cod, and a little sweet potato. And it's delicious. So I will talk to you guys later, because it is time.